Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and uh, hey, we are Saturday evening. Yeah, I don't do a lot of videos on Saturday evening uh, Eastern Time, but it took me three times. It took me three tries before I actually had 17746 installed. It stalled, uh, the two first times it stalled exactly at the same place, 33% and it didn't do anything. The first time is I left it all night. I thought, well, it was doing something, but you know, I don't know. Woke up in the morning, this morning, 33%. And uh, I tried it again, and early afternoon today, 33%. And uh, finally, retried the last time, and last time it went through. So I don't know what happened, but anyways, that's why it's so late for this. So anyways, this is the uh, quick review of build 17746. Once again, another uh, you know week with two builds of fast ring. 17 was 746 was released yesterday, Friday, August the 24th, around 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And uh, well, there's no new features, so if that's what you're looking for. But of course, like I said, we will be looking at some of the features coming to Rest on Five. Uh, in this build. So the install, it uh, bugged two times, but the third time it followed through like it, a regular install. So I don't know what happened, but something definitely went wrong the first two times and it didn't go wrong the third time and I have no idea what it is. So anyways, I uh, did actually post a feedback hub post about it and of course there's probably the telemetry in my computer being sent out, you know, with the problems. But now I've used it all day, well, all day, several hours today, and I have no issues. Everything is working fine. Uh, the menus, um, Microsoft Edge, everything is perfect. Everything is working great. Got no issues at all. Um, of course, they did a lot of bug fixing, which is pretty much where we are at. Uh, the list of known issues is smaller again. That means we're getting there where basically this is going to be we're getting close to what is, this is officially, basically the Redstone 5 build. Um, okay, what um, do I want to talk about today? Well, the cloud clipboard. This is the first version of Windows 10 that will have cloud clipboard. What's cloud clipboard? Let's just, uh, for example, take uh, the um, snip tool, the screen snip, and uh, do a, um, you know, a copy paste. So if I, for example, take something here, do this, here we go, that is now copied to the clipboard. And the cloud clipboard shows up here. So you see here, snip save to clipboard. And if I click, this is going to open that uh, snipping screen sketch thing. But basically, this is also going to be available on other Windows 10 machines. I have now copied this to the cloud and this is the new feature called Cloud Clipboard. So wherever you will do things that uh, needs copy and paste, you will have the Cloud Clipboard available. So basically you are going to see this and you are going to have this available on all machines. Cloud Clipboard has been something that we wanted for a while. Now, where does it end? Where does it start? That's the other story. So here we got it with a picture. Um, I've seen it when, you know, I copy text, for example. Let's go to the video side here. Say I do a copy of this. I don't think it's going to do anything except wait for me to do something else. So it doesn't have a Cloud Clipboard because the original version of Cloud Clipboard was to copy um, even files and folders to another uh, computer. We're not there yet, okay? Uh, we still have one drive, you can drop it into one drive. The cloud clipboard is more specific right now, but it's there. And it's there at a, of course, a reduced version of it. And I would guess that with 19H1, we will have a cloud clipboard that will do more stuff and keep more information. So that's another feature of Redstone 5. Cloud clipboard, 
copying pictures, copying text, it will be available. It's not there yet for files and folders, which will be great once it is, but it's not quite there yet. Apart from that, got no issues with this build. Uh, another build that, um, you know, once it's installed, because the issues I got them on the install side, worked great. So I got no issues, got no problem. Um, what about you? Let us know what you think of this build. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.